Hey, what's up? Today we're going to break down the goblet squat. I love this. It's a squat to teach all squats to help dial in form and uh, make our squats a little better. So <clears throat> um, I like to see feet hip width apart, toes slightly open. We can get those parallel. We can open those up a little more, but uh, for general sake, um, whatever is best for your knees and hips. So um, but make sure your knees are tracking in line with your toes. Um, from there, um, you can grab some kind of weight. The weight's front loaded. So when we're front loaded, we have more of a tendency to sit back and lean and sit up, get our torso up nice and tall versus with no weight, we often see a little more hinging at the hips and bowing forward. So finding a weight could be a dumbbell, could be a kettlebell, okay? High and tight, that weight is just resting right on your chest. Your elbows are essentially stacked underneath the weight, so it's gonna make this a little more of a resting position. And from the side, feet are set, I'm gonna keep my feet flat, okay? I wanna feel my whole feet in the ground and with a little extra emphasis on the heels, okay? Torso up nice and tall, squatting down. Think of elbows, trying to get to the knees if your knees are happy with that, and standing back up out of it, okay? Slow, controlled, squat down, stand strong from the front. Um, squatting down, controlled, and stand back tall, okay? Notice head, shoulders, hips, we're all stacked on top of each other. There was no major bowing forward. Um, knees are comfortable, healthy and strong. So get after it, goblet squat, and have a good one.